In this video, I discuss the modelling of charge transfer in cone sham theory. When a system of electrons is excited, electrons jump from usually the ground state to an excited state. This excitation can cause the transfer of charge from one part of the system, the donor, to another part of the system, the acceptor. Imagine an asymmetric diatomic molecule that's excited by a laser. In this case, charge is transferred from one atom to the other. The charge transfer energy, assuming the atoms are quite far apart, is the difference between the energy to remove an electron from the donor atom and the energy to add an electron to the acceptor atom. In other words, the ionization energy of the donor atom minus the electron affinity of the acceptor atom. In principle, the charge transfer energy can be obtained from the many-body Schrodinger equation. However, in practice, this equation cannot be solved for most systems owing to the interaction between the electrons. Concham theory offers an alternative, more practical way of calculating the charge transfer energy, which, as I will show, is exact in principle. The Concham system is defined as a system of non-interacting electrons, which yields the exact many-body density of the interacting electrons. In the many-body system, as the number of electrons increases, the number of interactions between the electrons also increases. In the Concham system, the electrons are fully non-interacting but the potential that they feel changes such that the Koncham density always gives the many-body density. This potential is known as the Koncham potential. In the example of a diatomic molecule, the external potential, which the real interacting electrons experience, and the corresponding exact many-body density are represented in this sketch. When the non-interacting electrons experience this potential, they both reside on the right atom, for interacting electrons, the repulsion between them forces each electron to occupy a distinct atom. So what must the Koncham potential do in this case to ensure the non-interacting electron density is equal to the interacting density? The answer is that the level of the potential on the right atom is increased by a constant which forms a step between the atoms as such. Now it is energetically favourable for the non-interacting electrons to each occupy a distinct atom, and the Koncham density exactly equals the many-body density. The height of this step can be calculated analytically. It depends on the ionisation energy of each atom and the corresponding quantities in the Koncham system. For more information, please see my paper on the origin of steps in exact Koncham potentials. Another seemingly unrelated property of the exact Koncham potential is known as the derivative discontinuity. Its name comes from the discontinuity in the derivative of the electron energy, as the number of electrons in the system is varied. It manifests in the exact Koncham potential as follows. Consider a single atom with only one electron. When we add a very small amount of charge to the system, the number of electrons in the system surpasses an integer, which means the level of the Koncham potential jumps everywhere in the system by a constant delta. With these two properties of the exact Koncham potential in mind, let us once again consider charge transfer. First we define how charge transfer can be modelled in the many-body system of interacting electrons. The ground state density and the external potential look something like this. When the electrons are excited, the many-body density looks like this, with both electrons localised on the right atom. Therefore, we can control the amount of charge which is transferred by varying delta. When delta equals zero, our system is in its ground state, and both electrons are separated. When delta equals one, both electrons occupy the acceptor atom. What would we expect to happen in the Koncham system when charge transfer occurs? The ground state Koncham potential has an interatomic step. When a very small amount of charge is transferred from the donor atom to the acceptor, the acceptor atom's number of electrons surpasses an integer. Hence, it must follow that the acceptor atom experiences a shift in the level of the potential by delta. However, this is a paradoxical conclusion because the interatomic step height, S, must remain the same upon the transfer of an infinitesimal amount of charge. Let us now look at a one-dimensional model of this system with two light spin electrons. In this case, the exact many-body density can be calculated, and so can the corresponding exact Koncham potential. Indeed, we see the interatomic step, which we label S. Upon the transfer of a small amount of charge, we observe the shift to the acceptor atom 
owing to the local number of electrons increasing just above an integer. At the same time, in the vicinity of the donor atom, a complementary shift in the Kundstrand potential occurs, meaning that two steps are present between the atoms. This second step corresponds to the charge transfer derivative discontinuity, a previously unknown feature of the exact Kundstrand potential. Let us now look at the same type of system, but for a realistic molecule in 3D. The top panel shows the ground state Kundstrand potential for a lithium beryllium ion. In this case, we see a platform around the right atom, which creates the step S between the atoms. Once charge is added to the right atom, in the bottom panel, we see a platform around the acceptor atom, which is the derivative discontinuity of that atom, and a halo around the left atom, which corresponds to the charge transfer derivative discontinuity, the same as observed in our 1D model. Both of the steps which occur between the atoms sum to give the interatomic step height seen for the ground state, showing the close relationship between these quantities and resolving the paradoxical conclusion from before. The charge transfer derivative discontinuity is a crucial feature of the Kundstrand potential if one wishes to obtain an accurate charge transfer energy from Kundstrand theory. At present, common approximations to the Kundstrand potential do not capture these features owing to their non-local dependence on the density, i.e. the height of the step of the donor atom depends on the characteristics of the except atom regardless of how separated the atoms are. For more information, please see my paper on the relationship between steps in the exact Kundstrand potential and the derivative discontinuities in the energy. In conclusion, charge transfer can be modelled in Kundstrand theory. Upon the transfer of charge, step features form in the exact Kundstrand potential, which relate the charge transfer energy to the corresponding Kundstrand quantities. Common approximations are currently missing these features, and hence, if one wishes to obtain accurate charge transfer energies within Kundstrand theory, Advanced approximations to the Kundstrand potential must be developed, which capture these properties.